and you buy Al. You don't buy Narukami with Robux. You're going to be so sad if you did that. Because Narukami is a shit weapon. Hello everybody, it's your host Supreme Senpai, it's Frederick. And today we're going to be looking at the five most best Quinkes in Rogul. Sound like a commentator. Alright, so at fifth place is what you see me holding right now. It's 13's Jason with its comical bleed effect. A slowdown and the longest dash in the game. A stun or updraft and an invincibility buff. It's all very unique as a weapon. It's also got a great speed dash. That's the overview of all the moves. Now, why do I think this belongs in a top 5 category? Well, with enough skill and low enough ping, this can be one of the most volatile and dangerous weapons out there. One thing that it has over the other Quinkes is that it is quite unpredictable in comparison. For example, this Jason's Quinke right here has a whole move set, a whole range of moves that one could use to their advantage. It's got very close up moves, medium range moves, semi medium range moves, and it's got a dash. You'll never be uh, beat in a fight because if you're low health, you can just run away. But the combat capability is quite quite great unless the opponent has a stun like my good friend Aman has right now. It's a solid weapon, granted you know how to use it. First place, fourth place, that's gonna be Genkwei. You read my mind, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you use this, when you go to school, you're probably in the special ed room. Ginkwei is quite a quick weapon. It's a weapon designed to catch your opponent off guard and quickly and aggressively. The problem with Ginkwei, and this is the reason it's not number one or number two, the, the problem with Ginkwei is while it can beat uh, some of the more powerful and higher ranged weapons like Al, Ginkwei is one of the most predictable Quinkes, apart from stuff like PC Katana and, and Crippling. Nobody uses that though. Ah yes, my beloved Kaika. A pretty solid weapon. And it's, it's very easy to use. It is, it's so quick, it's so powerful, it's so volatile. Uh, <laughs> it's such a huge range. Such huge damage, and the cooldown is medium at, at best, and there's a move that can refill the bar, and you can spam it really quickly in small uh, details, and you can just maintain the distance on, on a Kaika too. Opponent wants to get close, do all these combos, and you're just stacking mines. They're going to be really pissed off. They're going to be calling you retarded in the Roblox chat. Oh, they're, they're going to call you sniveled for attention or something. But it's all good since they're using Ginkwei and, and you're using a Giga Chad weapon. So, of course, they're going to be insulting you because that's what people with the Ginkwei do. They're just Ginkwei users. Higher Mind is second place with the recent buff, I think. Now, the reason I think it's second place is because the range is just so far and the R cooldown is so short. It's, it's just so fast and so long and so damaging. And to top it off, if your opponent is running like a pussy, you can try to get close and use F on them. Though, it's gonna be Al Quinque. Now, I'm sure all of you saw it, saw it coming. Now, I'm so tempted to say something like Kaika or <laughs> Ginkwe. Could beat Al, but Al just outshines every Quinque there's ever been. It, like, I'm sorry to say, but <laughs> how can you compete against this? 
it's not not possible it's just not something that can be done like this has been in the game for four years now and i still struggle with it many players get destroyed with owl number one ability for the owl to just run away from confrontation forever and uh, you can't really do anything about it you're not going to do anything about it number two number two the range is is so so far it's Ginkwe might be longer than it, but it's just something you can move with. It's so damaging. Third, it's unpredictable. If you go up to an owl, what's he gonna do? He can go with melee. If you go aggressive on an owl, he goes with melee. Or he runs away using the method I said in point one and just does this to you. And he doesn't even have to use ranged F, he just uses the other F. And like, you'll never know what. And if you're far away from the owl, he can do two things. He can just fight you with what owl is good at, which is range. Or he can come up to you. What are you going to do about it? He's up close. He's dealing all the damage. So quickly. And yeah, if you're a beginner watching this, just buy this. Just just aim for this. Uh, requirements, you need level 1,500. And you need owl. If you're a beginner, get this. Spar with Scorpion 1 out of 56. Just keep doing that. Keep it going. Alright. Great. And then after that, when you farm enough, get a high enough reputation. You don't even need to be level 1,500. You just get enough money, yen, with the reputation, and you buy Al. You don't buy Narukami with a Robux. You're going to be so sad if you did that. Because Narukami is a shit weapon. Buy Al and start grinding. Okay, don't buy Reaper either. It's just, there's nothing to it. You can say, oh, Reaper can get close and use the stun and use the whatever there is. There is no movement. What if... You're fighting an owl and he just runs away and, and just spams spam stuff on you. What are you going to do? It's not really... You can't really do anything about that. Don't buy Reaper. Buy Owl, guys. You wanted the answer. It's Owl. Owl Quinque. That's why you clicked on this video. You want to buy Owl Quinque. Now, it's been your host, Frederick. Make sure you buy Owl Quinque. Make sure you check out my sponsor, Enki. They have beautiful uh, software stuff. They have new stuff coming. Make sure you check them out, guys. And it's your being your host, Frederick. Hope you enjoyed the video. You know, I'm out. Social's in the description.